Imagine getting paid every month for doing nothing. Oh, and you'll get a ridiculously high yield as well. That's possible with the ETF JEPI, J-E-P-I, also known as the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF. This ETF's goal is to provide investors with monthly income and equity market exposure with less volatility. You'll notice that the ETF's holdings are heavily S&P 500 based. At the time of making this video, JEPI's top holdings include Intuit, Microsoft, Accenture, Alphabet, and DTE Energy. You'll also see some stranger looking holdings as well. That's because JEPI uses something called equity linked notes or ELA lends to help generate a yield. In basic terms, an equity linked note is an investment where someone lends money to another party and that money is then invested into stocks, options, or indexes. The party receiving the money can guarantee that 100% of the money that they get will be returned. This protects downside risk, but of course that comes with a cost. So profits are capped by something called the participation rate. For example, if an ELN has a participation rate of 50%, that means whatever profits were used with the money lent, the person that lent that money only gets 50% of the profit. There is far more to ELNs. This is just a very general brief overview, but there are a couple of things that you need to know about how they apply to JEPI in particular. We'll go over that later. JEPI is paying out a massive 10.62% yield and has an expense ratio of 0.35%. JEPI is able to generate this kind of returns in two ways, holding the stocks and collecting the dividend. In addition, using ELNs to write call options and collect the premium. So JEPI is selling call options through ELNs and the reason why they're doing that is to protect their downside. If you invested $10,000 into JEPI on the day it became available, it would have grown to $13,867.58 with your dividends reinvested for an annual return of 13.3%. Compare this to the S&P 500 over the same time period with that position growing to $13,426.34 with dividends reinvested. Here's some quick data for you so you can see how JEPI compared to other popular ETFs over the same period. From a dollars in dollars out perspective, JEPI performed well, although not as well as something like SCHD from May of 2020 to January of 2023. Let's get into some of the pros and cons of JEPI. For long-term investors, this might not be the best option as JEPI is not a growth fund, but it does have growth characteristics in the form of stock holdings. JEPI also uses covered calls and ELNs, which limit the fund's potential for profit. Based on the numbers, but it looks like most of the dividend yield is actually coming from ELNs, which do have unfavorable tax treatment. JEPI's income can vary wildly, which means that the dividends are also not consistent. And because of the use of ELNs, counterparty risk exists, which means that when the money is lent out for ELNs, there's no guarantee that that money actually comes back, even if it's in the terms of the ELN. And one huge risk is that these ELN's exact terms are unknown. So for potential investors, that's something we don't have access to, which some people might not be comfortable with. Now it's not all doom and gloom. ELN's can provide downside protection, which help JEPI lower its risk. The ETF does not promise any returns, which means it doesn't have to distribute cash to meet its dividend goals, which can have negative effects. JEPI by nature gravitates towards less volatility given its holdings, but of course it'll swing with the market. And it can be a good option for investors looking for more income. And before we start a position in JEPI, we need to know that JEPI is a risky investment. And of course, you could lose your money by investing in it. There's also much more to know about JEPI, so this video should be used as a great starting point, but you should definitely research your own investment. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor, so please remember to reach out to one about your specific needs and goals and work with them for your specific investments. I'm just some guy on the internet that wants you to actually know what you're investing in. If you're interested in another ETF that's similar to JEPI with a higher yield, go ahead and check out this video right here. If you thought this video was valuable, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe for more money, finance, and crypto content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.